Last time in the movie, that little girl from Miss Doubtfire grew up. The trains try to solve a mystery. A frickin' wall falls over. And a lot of people complain that Peter Fonda is too sad for this movie. Well, you'd be sad too if your wife was dead and the magical talking steam train you were told to guard with your life didn't work. Now here's more movie. Uh, up a bit. Okay, now to the left. Your other left. Ah, that's better. <laughs> there, James. Tickle all gone now? Well, Kenny does a better job of scratching my nose, but you did fine, I guess. Hey, what's wrong with you, Mr. Conductor? Is it because I'm red? Because one time, there was this diesel who mocked my red paint in the most rudest fashion you could think of. I still remember the comment he made. Hey, James. Yeah? I don't like the colour red. I feel dead inside. Oh, no, of course not, James. I think that red is bright and cheerful. Oh, God. Just like my sparkle. Or at least it was. And must be again. Oh, I'm sorry, James. I'm going to the windmill to search for something important. Now off you go to work, please. Okay, then. See you never. What happened? Where's the windmill? That's where I'm supposed to be. Well, now I've completely lost my sense of direction. All righty. I call this meeting of the Sodor, uh, something something, club in order. I'm gonna take it everyone's here, so no headcount this time. But where's Percy? He went to Escalator Land with Diesel. When do we get to the ride? This is the ride! Yippee! Then where's Edward? He's still in that coma after the Vicar's Garden Party. That's been like over two years now. Then what's Duck? Screw Montague, we never liked him in the first place. Okay. I called you all here so we could discuss this uh, lost engine Diesel 10 is looking for. Henry here has no, been hard no, at work no, learning no, all about no, this engine. No, and I think he has no, a pretty good no, idea no, about this engine's no, whereabouts. No, no, no. Henry, your notepad. My what? Your notepad. That stuff about the engine. You brought it. Didn't you? Gordon, I'm gonna give you a really big clue. Are you ready? I don't have fingers! How in the blue hell can I use a notepad if I don't have any thumbs to hold a pen? Then what was all that talk of you researching and keeping notes down? You've got everything I said backwards. I have a photographic memory so I can memorize everything I read. And my driver had a stand for me, so I can look at a book and do something, instead of just looking at the poorly painted blue sky every single day as I rest. Didn't you notice the black stand that was poorly and mispainted a few scenes ago? Fine. I'm not gonna ask anymore. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. See, what's all this talk about a lost engine? It's a long story, man. I'll have to tell you later. We're kind of in the middle of a meeting or something. All right, then. Stay safe. And remember, only you can prevent wildfires. I care for the environment. Wait a second. Where's Mr. C? He said something about going to the windmill. But when I puffed over there, he wasn't there. Maybe he's looking for the answers about his gold dust or something. Oh yeah, that reminds me about something concerning the engine. What's that? Well, apparently the magic dust that George and Alec use is somehow connected with the lost engine. What about Ringo? Screw Ringo! Angelus is best. Anyway, what kind of connection? Think of it as a railway line that he uses to transport himself from America over to Sordor. So you mean this engine that Diesel's after somehow can travel to another continent? Yes! And my guess is that the railway that Mr. Not George Conley Conductor Man travels on is weakening every day, unless that engine runs on the line again. Wait, so the engine isn't even on Sordor, but in America? Indeed. So Diesel isn't just looking for the lost engine, but the secret railway that leads to the engine's whereabouts. But how can that be? 
There's no bridge that leads to America. Ah, but unless it was an underground tunnel. Oh. I don't get it. Okay, let's see if I can get this straight because I am not following this accordingly. That diesel guy is looking for the engine and the tunnel that leads to his whereabouts, but also needs to get Mr. Not Colin to lead him to that tunnel, thereby letting him head to America to get the engine. And if he finds sir, I believe all the steam engines in the world are doomed. Wow, you're taking this quite well, Toby. It's something that Henrietta always tells me. Always look on the bright side of life. Oh, bright sides of life. Okay, Mr. Outhouse, explain how Diesel finding the tunnel that leads to the engine to kill us all have a bright side. He doesn't know the hidden line. If he still thinks the engine is here on Sodor, we're still good. And it'll give Mr. C enough time to figure out the clues to his gold dust. Well, if that's the case, there's no time to waste. Let us all run off to find the... Uh, find the... Uh, uh, no, D uh, don't you dare. Uh, don't you even think uh, about it. Uh, I'm warning you! Uh, don't do it, boy! Uh, uh, oh, well, you know, I didn't have to sneeze. <laughs> you know, for a second there, I could have sworn that I was about. <laughs> oh, for crying oh, out loud! Wow. Sorry, oh, no. I still got that sneezing powder in me. Well, get out of here before you infect us all! I got back coal already, and I don't need your help to make it worse. Okay, I'll go find Mr. Not George Carlin. In the meantime, you all look for that tunnel that leads to America. Where the hell do we start at? Does it look like I have the answer? Yes. Well, I don't. Oh. So, who wants to come to my viewing of the Big Bang Theory? James, um, didn't the fact controller say you don't have to do those parties anymore? I know, but I like it now. No one? Anyone? Oh, screw you guys, I'm going home. As I was looking for Mr. C along my branch line, he was busy eating some vegetables that were just growing up in the mountains. Like, really, there's some rabbit fella that's growing a garden? Should he really be eating those? I mean, what if they were poisonous or something like that matter? Yes, just all agreed this scene is cringy to watch. But then an idea pops into his cap. He calls upon his cousin Junior and asks him to go back to Shining Time to find his backup supply of gold dust. And coincidentally meets Lily around the same time too. You know, I just thought about something that I don't think anyone has asked before. From the time that Junior got to Shining Time and then when him and Lily left to Sodor, that was like a whole day there. If this was a family emergency, what was he doing there the entire time? I mean, surely to goodness Mr. C didn't hit the gold dust that well. So what was he doing during that entire time in Mr. C's house? Was he like taking a nap, messing about his kitchen cabinet? Uh, seriously, there needs to be questions that we need to ask here. Mr. Kadutta! Mr. Kadutta! Where are you? Thomas? Mr. Not George Carlin! How could I possibly say that I'm really useful now? Mr. Kadutta! Mr. C! Mr. I can't really think of anything else to call you without it being sounding repetitive! Pardon the interruption here, I'm looking for a tall dressed man in blue who currently resides in America and also works as a conductor man with magical crap. Have you all seen him? <laughs> Whoa, that was a loud one. I must be low on coal. <sighs> man. Cold problem aside, where could he be? I checked everywhere on Sodor. Or at least, that's what the footage implies. Hmm, what can I do? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Maybe if I run through the opening credit sequence, I might find him! Oh, 
crap! I didn't see him! Excuse me. Are you Lily? Yeah. Oh, hi. I'm Stacy Jones. I'm manager here. Your grandpa's very upset. You must have gotten on the wrong train. I better take you back to Muffle Mountain. Thank you. Chug a chug a big red car. We're traveling near and we'll travel far. Toot toot chug a chug a big red car. We're gonna ride the whole day long. Pay no attention to the man on the motorcycle. He is not important to the plot. Hello, Burnett. Stacy. Hello, Lily. Hi, Grandpa. Oh, hi there. I'm just, uh, whistling. It's quite fun. Yeah. What's that right here? Is that a cute little baby kangaroo? D don't ask why there's a kangaroo here in Pennsylvania or Pittsburgh or whatever. It's actually a funny story. It all started with my- OH CRAP! All through the night I go Hear the sound of the night train The chugga 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 of the night train Hear how my whistle blows Woo hoo hoo Hear how my whistle blows You know what? This is a very nice shed. No, really it is. It's very nicely structured and cosy. I just wish there was someone to share it with. Oi, you! Crane! Huh? What? Wanna share this shed with me or whatever? If it means getting out of the way, I'll take it. Cool. Wait, how are you even gonna get in here? Just take your claw thing and cut my legs up and insert my face in there. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not gonna do that. I mean, I am usually kinda sadistic, but I have a soft side for cranes. Wait, weren't you at the docks earlier? Oh, I got relocated. Oh. How the hell does a crane get- you know what, I can't talk right now, I'm busy eavesdropping. Hi Percy, how is Escalator Land? Oh, it was loads of fun! And then afterwards we went to DC and I brought you back this souvenir from the Lincoln Memorial! That's the Washington Monument. It is? I don't know the names of these memorials. But anyways, Henry was telling me about how you guys think there's a hidden tunnel that leads to the Lost Engine. Why yes, it seems to make sense seeing how the engine is in America. America? Yeah, but I was thinking, if there's a tunnel that leads to America, wouldn't it have to be an underground tunnel, like, under the sea? Most likely. Actually, just by mentioning that, it sounds completely stupid. My point exactly. So, what if, and just hear me out, what if, instead of an underground tunnel, what if it was a secret railway? You know, like a teleportation device, or a magic opening to that railway? Yeah, but... Where would this magic opening be? Well, last night, Mr. Not George Carlin Conductor Man person was talking in his sleep. Really? I thought that was you. I don't talk in my sleep! <laughs> oh, Rainbow Dash, you are truly best pony. Mm. Okay, maybe I do, but I've been getting out of that habit, and you know it! Actually, he was talking about buffers and a lost engine in his sleep. So maybe this magical opening to this railway is located in a pair of buffers? Yes, and if the magic engine doesn't run on the magic railroad, then Mr. Conductor won't have any more gold dust! Man, this is sounding more and more like a bad Stephen King novel. Only minus the weak ending and disappointing payoff. <laughs> Alright, we gotta tell the others about this, and make sure Diesel 10 doesn't know about- Stop! Uh, stupid crates! Who puts crates out in the middle of the track anyway? Sorry, my bad. My hook's a bit rusty. Isn't Cranky supposed to be at the docks? He got relocated. Ah. How the hell do you relocate a crane that big? Well, it involves several samey trucks taking bits and pieces of a crane. How long have you been here? I was just over here thinking on how to solve world hunger, 
when I noticed Diesel 10 crashing into a crate of bananas. Diesel 10 was here? Yes, he was hiding behind that shed in the back. But luckily, you two weren't talking about anything revolving the lost engine and the secret tunnel, right? Oh, don't worry, Toby. We weren't talking about the secret tunnel. No, we were talking about how the lost engine has a magical railway that acts as a teleportation device that is located inside one of the buffers on this island, and that if the engine doesn't run on the railway, the Mr. Not George Carlin Conductor Man Person Guy won't regain his magic gold dust back. You know, nothing important. I'll follow Diesel 10 to where he's going and eavesdrop, while you two get your buffers working on taking the mail. Okay then, be careful, Toby! Oh, don't worry, I'm as quiet as a mouse. I can disguise myself within the scrap. Anyway, do you still have that DDR machine to take to Mrs. Kindly's house? Yeah, I think so. Come on, let's take it over there. I wanna know how it works. Yeah, me too! Oh, and for the record, Fluttershy is the best. Pony. Oh, f you. Be prepared for the chance of a lifetime. Be prepared for sensational news. This looks like a good spot to eavesdrop. Come in, Splodge, and enjoy my shack or whatever. I've discovered something very important a few minutes ago up at Natford. The lost engine that we've been looking for is no longer on this island. So you illegally hijacked a boat trip and threw the new diesel off the boat for nothing? Well, not necessarily. Cause now, the engine turns out to be somewhere in America! Good. How's that good? Cause now I don't have to waste my time looking for some dumb damsel in distress. <laughs> I can go back home and sleep for the rest of my days. <laughs> While Splatter here can join the fishies in the ocean. <laughs> hey! Face it, Splatter. You don't live a huge impact on any of us. <laughs> no one like you. That's not true. This old boy waved at me earlier. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, you really don't leave an impact on anyone. <laughs> I don't even remember your name. Shut your face holes! Yes, sir. Uh... Now listen up, and listen good. I'm gonna find Alec Baldwin, and force him to show me the magic buffers. And when we do find the magic buffers, what will you do with them next? That depends. Have either of you ever read a creepy pasta before? Oh, lots of times. Well, I'm gonna reenact a scene from my favorite creepy pasta. Cupcakes. That doesn't sound like a very threatening story. You're kidding, right? It has a cute little pony cutting out parts of another pony and then turning that pony into cupcakes. If that's not scary or threatening, then I don't know what is. What about the smiley dog? Nah, I never really got around to that one yet. Right now I'm caught up watching Shed 7. Wait, who said that? Oh, crap. Come out, you! Whoever you are. Wait, oh no, that sound, it's Toby, the old outhouse! Bash him! Wait, Pitchy! No! Uh, no! Help! Help! Don't get this godforsaken shed off me! Pitchy, you hate to see me that! Hey, uh, is this a bad time to ask why you knocked the shed down? Yeah, that was kind of stupid of you. I really don't have an answer at this moment. Pinchy just kinda has a mind of his own, alright? This ain't over.